ورسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول كل بدعة ضلالة And from the mistakes that our young brothers make and our sisters likewise is that they are not concerned with taking advantage of the time that Allah has given them. You see many of them wasting their time just on these devices, social media, the football match or the boxing or the cricket. They spend hours and hours reading material and reading magazines or looking at their phones. or following Facebook, or Twitter, or following the news events, wasting their time. Others, you find them just sleeping throughout the day, especially in the month of Ramadan, that they don't wake up up until just before Maghrib. Wasting their time endlessly. And you find others that all they do is just move from one place to another, one shop, one shopping mall, the next shopping mall, visit this one, talk to that one, drive to this one. Not taking advantage of that which Allah has given them. Imam Tirmidhi mentions or narrates and reports in his sunan from the hadith of Abu, Abu Barza al-Aslami that Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the feet of the son of Adam will not move on yawm al-qiyamah before his Lord up until he is asked concerning five about his life and how he spent it, about his youth and what he did with it, about his wealth and where he earned it and upon what he spent or where he spent it and that which and what he did with what he knew. So the feet of the, of the sons and daughters of Adam, Yawm Al-Qiyamah will not move from in front of their Lord up until they are asked about these affairs. Their life and how they spent it, their youth and what they did with it. First two things, what did you do with your youth when Allah gave you health? Allah gave you ability. Allah gave you free time. What did you do with that time? What did you do? And likewise, there occurs in another hadith, That has been reported by Al-Hakim in his Mustadrak from Abdullah ibn Abbas radiyallahu anhuma that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said take account of five before five. Your youth before your old age. Your free time before your preoccupation. Your life before your death. Your health before your sickness. And your prosperity before your poverty. These are important things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will question us regarding. How are we spending our time? When we have the ability to open the book of Allah and study it and read it, and read the tafasir, the explanations of the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the commentaries by the great scholars, At-Tabari, Qurtubi, Ibn Kathir, Al-Sa'di, Ibn Uthaymeen, Ash-Shanqiti, these are all tafasir, well known. How many of us open those? The dumbing down of social media is not to be underestimated. When you look at the time that social media became prevalent in the hands of the youth and in the hands of people, that their capacity to concentrate has been reduced and reduced and reduced and they have been dumbed down. If they can't read something that takes them 10 seconds, meaning that if they read something that only lasts 10 seconds, they're happy with it. Anything beyond that, they move on to the next story. So the people say you have to condense ilm. You have to condense what you're teaching and put it into 50 words. Because people's minds have been dumbed down. People have been dumbed down. If it takes more than a minute, they're not interested. So when they click on the audios and Salafi sounds, for example, with the dharus of the mashayikh and the tulab al-ilm and the du'at, they look at the dars, the first thing they look at is, how long is it going to take me to listen to? Oh, that's 55 minutes, I don't have 55 minutes. Let me go back to social media and Facebook. Let me see who's boxing who and who's making playing cricket with who. 
Why? Because that is 55 minutes they're not willing to give in pursuit of ilm. Khutbah is a 25 minute, 30 minute khutbah too long. The clip has to be 20 seconds, one minute, 55 seconds, because I have to move on. What do you have to move on to? What is it that we want to move on to beyond the ilm? Why is it that we can't sit down and say, I'm going to play that dars? And I'm going to have my notebook in front of me and I'm going to take 15 benefits from a dars of 50 minutes. I'm going to write down 15 benefits. I can't write the whole dars because that's not matloob anyway. That's not what's required anyway. What's required of you is to take the important points from the dars. But we don't have 55 minutes. It's not that we don't have 55 minutes. We don't want to give 55 minutes for a dars. We don't want to give 25 minutes for a dars. We are itching to leave because we got more important things to do. My question to you is what is more important? What is it that you want to do? More shopping? More surfing? More Facebook? More WhatsApping? What is it that you want to do? More eating? Another donut? Another milkshake? What is it that you want? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask you, about your youth and what you did with it. 30 years we've been in the field of da'wah and we've seen people come and go. Most of them who go is because they wasted their youth. They wasted the years that Allah gave them when they were young. When a person reaches 50 and 60, then he thinks to himself, if only, if only, I had started when I was younger. If only when I was 20, I had studied and I'd learned. Then at the age of 50, I wouldn't be asking questions that really I should know the answers to. My children have left me. My grandchildren have left me. Why? Because you never had anything to give them. So they chose the dunya. What did you do? Because when most of us have our children, we're young. We're in our youth, we're in the prime of our youth. When our children are one, two, three, up until the age of eight, nine and ten, we're still in our twenties. In our youth. But we're too, too busy chasing the dunya. We want the better car. We want the better sofa. We want the better phone. We want to see the shopping malls. I don't have time for the dars once a week. Once a week? I don't have time for once a week. But you have every day to chase the dunya. Ya akhi, I don't have time to come on a Thursday night to the dars. Ya akhi, I don't have time to come on a Saturday evening to the dars. I don't have time. I just about reached the end of the khutbah. What are you busy with? What is it that makes you averse to just sitting and benefiting from the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? The thing that will save you in this life, the thing that will save you in your grave, the thing that will save you in the akhirah. So let us not, my brothers and sisters, waste our time and waste ourselves because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will question us.